Okay, I'm gonna show you what's in my work bag today. So I just finished my very first week at my office job. Today is Friday, so I just got done there and got home. So I thought that for my Saturday video this week, because on Tuesday I put up my first day of work vlog, that I would share with you guys what I have in my work bag. It has stayed pretty much the same all week. I've added a couple of things in there, but I already had like a good idea and a good list running of things to bring to work with me. And I kind of have some like standard stuff that I would bring anyways, and then kind of some office specific things. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the bag that I have. This is a Kate Spade like oversized kind of tote bag. It's like a cream color and it's like pebbled leather. And then it's got the little tassel and like black details on it. So we're going to start with this pocket in the front first. So yeah, on the outside, there's just the one pocket on the front that has the zipper with the tassel on it. So I like to keep my like very easily and um, frequently accessed things in that pocket. Also, this is like the only strap that it has on it, but I can easily carry this over my shoulder and it's perfect. And that's kind of the way I want to carry it anyways, because it's kind of heavy. So in the front pocket, that's where I always keep my phone, like when I'm commuting and everything. And for the most part throughout the day as well, just so it's right there and super easy to get. And I also keep my headphones in there. I still have like wired headphones. One of my first things that I'm going to buy with my first paycheck is some um, AirPods because that's something I've been wanting for a long time. But for right now, I just have wired headphones for my phone for when I'm commuting slash listening to music at work. And then I have a scrunchie in there that I used at work today. I like to just have that accessible. And then I have my Presto Pass, which is what we use for transit in Ottawa. So this is my bus pass, obviously. So that's all I have in the front pocket. Usually I also put a mask in there as well, just so it's easily accessible for um, bus and when I'm going into the office and that kind of stuff. So moving to the inside of the bag, obviously that's where the bulk of my things are. So first things first, I have my planner in there. So I like to have this with me at work so I can add meetings and whatnot into it um, and any like lists or something that I think of. This is mostly like a personal planner. I'm not really putting like work tasks in here. So I'm not putting like work to-do lists. I just kind of write those on a notepad at my desk, but this is for personal things so I can look at like if I have plans that evening, uh, what we're making for dinner, that kind of stuff while I'm at work. And yeah, and then I have the pencil case that came with my planner in there as well. And I use this actually a lot at work because I have like a million different colors of like mild liners and stuff in here, which is great while I'm like training and learning things so I can highlight documents and different notes that like mean different things so they stand out on the page for me while I'm doing different processes. So I have this with me with my planner. Next thing that I have in here is my a personal care items. Um, I put this in the clear base pouch that I showed you guys in my um, base collection review video. This is what the um, passport holder and luggage tag came in, the croc ones. And I just thought I may as well use it because I'm not using it for any travel or anything at the moment. So in this uh, bag, I have a mini dry shampoo. I have a powder for my face, even though I'm not wearing makeup at all, but just in case I have powder. I have, in a similar vein of when I get oily, I have blotting papers. I have a little mirror from Sephora. I have a setting spray primer water. This is a Smashbox one. When I do wear makeup, this is the one that I swear by to set my face with so I can like reset my face during the day if I need that while I'm wearing makeup. I have a little spoolie brush in case my eyebrows get funny while I'm at work, which I know sounds like something funny, but it kind of bothers me when my eyebrows go like strange if I've been like touching my face or whatever. And then I have a mini uh, spray for perfume. And this one's actually really cool because it is 
refillable. So whatever perfume I'm wearing at the time, I can fill this with. So uh, this is just nice if I need like a spritz in the middle of the day or whatever. And then I have a tie to go because as I've said in truly almost every video, I do spill. So I have a tie to go just in case I spill at work. And then I have a nail file just in case of emergencies in that case. Next thing I have in there is I have this little address book, which I normally carry in my regular like large purse. If I do ever take that out, because I do sometimes when I'm going shopping or doing like a full day thing or whatever. There's a few phone numbers and addresses in it for like my close friends and whatnot. But I have this just in case I need it for anything at work. If I need someone's contact information, if I need to add information to it, it's right there. Next thing that I have popped in here is that Bay's wristlet set, which again, I went over in my Bay's collection review video. So if you guys want to see the things that I'm talking about in a little bit more detail, you can go watch that video because I basically have exactly the same things in here that I normally do, um, as I said in that video. So I did get a new pair of sunglasses, so I popped those in the larger zippered pouch, but this was super easy to just transfer this whole set from my fanny pack that I've been using normally and I just popped that in this larger bag so I have kind of all of my basics and that's good to go. Then I have a phone charger obviously just in case I need it during the day not that I'm using my phone very much at work but it's nice to have this just in case. I might just pop this in my desk and like leave it there but it's kind of nice to have it in my bag in case I ever need it when I'm like in transit whatever. And then I have my blue light glasses so I wear these because I'm obviously staring at a computer for most slash like all of the day so it's just a little easier sorry you can see my ring light there but it's nicer for my eyes when I am wearing these so it kind of like cuts the blue light it makes me not have as much eye fatigue throughout the day I find so could be a placebo I don't know but I like them and they seem to work for me next I have kind of like food items I suppose but not really food items I have a pack of gum and then I have from the brand Organica Health I have their effervesce collagen marine collagen tablets that have vitamin C in them so you just pop these in a glass of water and it gives you your collagen for the day and they're like lightly flavored and they uh like carbonate the water as well so this is the cranberry flavor I have several different tubes I think I have a kiwi a lilac a cranberry the other one's rose I love these because it helps me get my collagen in for the day and also it just kind of spices up my water when I'm drinking water all day because I'm trying to really be aware of how much water I'm drinking while I'm at this job because obviously working a desk job you kind of don't drink as much water because you're not exerting as much energy as like walking around while I was doing retail so this is nice I usually use these in the afternoon and just pop this in a glass of water and drink that water and it's just like a nice refreshing treat and then I have my laptop in here this case is again from my Bay's weekender bag this came with the weekender bag but I just popped it in here as like a laptop protector um, and like document holder as well I brought my laptop with me today because I had a little bit of extra time so I was doing some stuff on my laptop but normally I don't need to carry my laptop with me so I like this because it's padded so it keeps my laptop safe but it also like keeps it separated from everything else and I don't want to like scratch the outside of it too so in here today I just have my laptop and then I have a copy of my contract as well because uh the lady at work gave that to me today so I'm gonna file that in my stuff here <clears throat> but yeah I don't normally bring my laptop I brought it on Monday even though I didn't need it and I haven't really brought it any other day except for today because I have computers there. So there's a couple of pockets on the inside of this bag here. So there is a zippered pocket and then on the other side there are two just like open pockets. So we'll start with a zippered pocket on the inside. So in here, I think I just have, yeah, so I have feminine products in here and then in case of emergency, in case I forget, and then band-aids because it's very important if you're working like a fancier job where you're wearing like less comfortable shoes because you're kind of more likely to get blisters and stuff and usually like any first aid kit 
band-aids are like the sad like plasticky ones and then they also rub off your feet so i have like band-aid brand band-aids that are like fabric on the outside so they stay in place really well and they fit your foot much better so and the other two side pockets on the inside that are open in one i have kleenex i have these mostly for my commute i obviously have Kleenex at my desk as well, but they're for my commute. Uh, I have nosebleeds kind of frequently, like not super frequently, like not badly frequently, but they do kind of happen out of the blue, especially like if we're having a very dry spell in the temperature and mostly like fall and spring. So I just like to have these with me so I don't get like stuck on transit or like walking and not have any tissues with me and I have like a massive nosebleed and get it all over my clothes. So I have these. And then in the final pocket on the inside, I have another scrunchie just in case. This one's from Flirty Pineapple. I love her scrunchies. This is the mini scrunchie. And so for this, I'll just like do the front of my hair and then like do it up at the back, just the top part of it. The other scrunchie is a little more heavy duty to do my whole head of hair. And then last thing is my keys. So I just have those in there four days that I'm driving to work and just to have in general just in case slash it also has like my mail key on it too so if i'm coming home from work i want to check my mail i have my keys with me so that is everything that is in my work bag i on my first day i also had a water bottle in there to bring to work but then i had just been leaving it at work so i would always have a water bottle there and i didn't have to like lug it back and forth with me and especially now that like on transit and whatnot you have to be wearing a mask like it's not like I'm even drinking water in between when I leave from work and I'm coming home because like before on transit obviously you can <laughs> drink a coffee drink water whatever but I don't ever want to be like pulling down my mask on the bus and drinking water so anyways I just leave that at work and then it's always there for me I don't have to worry about forgetting my water bottle always there this bag is like an excellent size it fits all of those things super comfortably obviously it gets a little squishy once I put in my laptop with the protector on it but everything fits in there super well I have not been at work feeling like I needed something at all this week I also have a lunch bag separately so I don't put my lunch in here just because obviously that would get super crowded but I feel like I've had all of the basics so far like I've again I haven't had a situation where I felt like I needed something and didn't have it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was inside of my work bag. It's obviously going to change a little bit as I'm there for longer. I'm sure that there will be things that I want to add to my work bag or might want to switch out my work bag. So I'm sure I will do another one of these videos eventually when I change up what's in my work bag enough. If you guys enjoyed this, if you did, please like the video below and then subscribe to my channel as well. And if you want to check out my Bay's luggage collection review, I have that as well. I will link it down below so you guys can see the couple of base items that I was talking about because I go more in depth in that video. And yeah, please let me know what your staple work bag item is. If there's something specific that you bring to the office, I would love to know below. Just leave that in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Bye babes.